Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby episode 13 and 14. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who's interested in my early access to all my content for the month of June and soon to be July, uh, it is available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Here, I will start to give people a free trial uh, before they pay. So whichever membership you want to look at and see which one, you know, interests you more, it's definitely all in there. Just read the different tiers I have to offer. But besides that, let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me it's daddy and mommy shark. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no. Sorry, I was running later than I thought I was. Um, welcome back, Miss Gwen. How was it? I was able to deliver it to him. I see. That's good news. Nana, thank you for always taking such good care of Leon. No worries. If anything, I am enjoying helping you both. Remember that if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Yes. There are so many kind people around me now. I'm starting to feel like I'm the bad guy. Hello, baby. Episode 13. Uh... Mama's going to take a bath real quick, okay? Mm. So much has happened today. <sighs> From meeting Camilla... To Arthur saying he wants us to become a family now? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about everything. Uh, hello? Where's everyone? Uh... Leon, there you are. Uh... Did you get heavier? Chew. It's only been three days. <laughs> Did you miss daddy? You. So cute. Mwah. Where's mom? Did you forget something, Nana? <gasps> oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. C can you please at least ring the doorbell before coming in the house unannounced? Ah, right. Sorry. Cute. You like the song too? Uh. I thought you were coming by later. You could have called me. Sorry, Percy let me clock out early so I was so excited that I forgot. I can help with that. I can do it. It's alright, relax. I used to do this for my little sister. It's fine, I guess. Your little sister? Well, she's in the middle of us. I have two little sisters. I'm the eldest sibling. I have a little bit of an age gap with them. The middle child is probably around the same age as you. I'm 31. That one makes him five years older than me. Huh? I thought he was younger based on his looks and attitude. Wait, then does that mean you've taken care of them? Yeah, a bit. I mean, Nana was already there with us, so... Gosh, I guess I said meaner things about him than I thought I did. What do you even know about raising a child? Sorry about that. Hmm? About what? Somehow, it feels like he's telling me about things about him. What about your family? Do you have any siblings? A question I was dreading he, he would ask me. But somehow, I feel it's only fair I open up to some to him, too. Both of my parents passed away. Just my father, just recently. He isn't my biological father, but he took me in as his own. My actual father is now with his other family. The woman from earlier, she's my half-sister. I ended up staying with them for a while after Dad died, but I guess I wasn't welcome. 
Ah, oh, sorry. It's very complicated, huh? Hold on to this for a minute. Uh, huh? It's been a while, but... Behold, my very special performance. One. Two. Oh, don't you dare! He's doing the... Ah, uh, I hate it. Mm -mm. Daddy, I hate it myself. The fact that I know it and I have no kids. Let's go hunt. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, dum. Uh, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you want to eat some snacks? I actually brought some with me. That's just snacks? That's a whole meal! You brought a lot. Here, her face. <laughs> There's more. Oh. Mm. Is it to your liking? By the way, he really likes that song, huh? Mm. Even Nana complained about it before heading out. About hearing it on repeat. Well, as long as he's happy. Well, what? Nothing really. It's just been a while since I last saw you laugh. <laughs> Are you free tomorrow? Let's hang out with Leon. You don't have to go above and beyond like this, you know. But don't you want Leon to have a happy family? After I lost my parents, I was treated terribly by the people who were supposed to be my closest family. Ever since then, I made the decision to live life on my own. All I wanted was to forget about the past, to be able to move forward with Leon. I've been thinking about what family means. And I've been thinking about more about Leon. He deserves to grow up with a father. More importantly, he deserves to grow up experiencing what a true happy family is like, but it's not like... We're in love with each other. So I'm telling you, should you should focus on Leon. This playing family might hurt the child more in the process if it doesn't work out. I've experienced it firsthand. I wouldn't go this far for you both if I'm, I am only attracted to you physically. Please give me a chance, at least to prove myself to you both. She was there, you know. That night? Your ex-fiance. I wouldn't go this far for you, both, if I'm only attracted to you physically. Please, give me a chance, at least to prove myself to you both. She was there, you know. That night. Your ex-fiance. Here. What's your room number? I'll walk you. If you're like this often, I don't understand why your fiancé would leave. What do you mean by like this? Like a... dependable man. Uh, other people would disagree with your impression of me. They say I don't take anything seriously. That I'm always playing around. That I'm worthless. No way! You're a good person. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're worthless. I know it's weird of me to say this since we've only just met, but... I feel comfortable when I'm around you. Are you seeing someone right now? No, but what about your fiancé? Things ended between us months ago. I only came here because I didn't want to waste the reservations. Hey Gwen, do you think we can continue to see each other after this trip? Mm. Do you also think you can stay here with me tonight? Uh, yeah. 
Hello, baby. Episode 14. So it wasn't just a dream? I can't believe I was bold enough to do something like this. Are those... Hickeys? <laughs> she has some too. A one-night stand? But is that really all this is? Is it possible for two strangers to be something more just after just one night? It would be nice if it was. Right? Since this is the last day of the trip, should I stay and wait? I have to let Carol know. Huh? Why do I have so many notifications? It must be from Carol. Huh? 18 missed call, 23 unread messages. Lime messenger. Aunt Lilia, your father has sent earlier, was sent to the earlier to the hospital. Please respond. Cardiac arrest. He'll be okay, right? No, this is is an emergency. I'm sorry, Arthur. Maybe it's fate that bring us together again. Then I'll. When I was trying to figure out how to deal with what was happening with Dad, I met her. The ex-fiancé you told me about. I realized there was an opportunity for you two to get back together. But I felt like I ruined that chance out of my own selfishness. I'll never forget the look on her face when she saw me. Gwen, that's impossible. I have the guest list for that entire ship. Is how I was able to find you. She said her name was Elaine. Expression. I knew it. We can't do this like we've been. We need to focus on... I've already told you. My relationship was long, over long before that trip ever started. I'm not seeing or dating anyone. I told you before, right? I've looked everywhere for you. It was only by coincidence was I able to find out about Leon. But this whole time, I was looking for you. I'm sorry I've been looking into your background without your consent. I also looked for you after finding out I was pregnant. Really? I'm sorry. This is all I know to say right now. I really should have looked for you as soon as possible. Please give me another chance to prove myself to you. To the both of you. Uh. Huh? That's right. I can't be thinking about myself anymore. What Gwen told us last time wasn't the full story right. Wait, who's this? I was way too pushy that night, and then she found out about her pregnancy around the time of Uncle Leo's passing. I was there with, with Gwen through all this these events, so I feel like I'm at least partial, partially responsible for everything. What we don't understand now is why that guy is suddenly showing up when he's the one who didn't want to acknowledge Gwen's pregnancy. After we found him to tell him about it, you both must have been through a lot. You bet we have, but Gwen especially. Even so, you, we can't just remove his visitation rights since he's the child's father. We can only try to demand an arrangement for them. It may be hard though. If she's mutually accept to some things, for Leon, to experience a loving, healthy relationship. Family. Do you think we can really give him a loving family? I'm sh I can't know for sure, but after hearing about everything, I can promise that I will do my best to fix these misunderstandings. We can at least start by getting to know more about each other, right? Okay, let's do that.
to be continue. Can I add sweets? <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap. So it's not too terrible. We're getting to dive more into each people's background, but more on Gwen's side. So wow, so she did run into his fiance. He was kind of in a denial. He's like, no, there's no way. Like He checked the list. There's no way his ex-fiance was on there, but she was. I I'm assuming it was, unless it's like a stalker. But Wow, so they both mutually look for each other. One for because she was pregnant, and the other because he was just he wants her to see her. But wow, fate pulled them together. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my watching reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on what y'all feel or how did y'all feel about these two episodes or chapters. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.